Welcome to Trending in Education. Mike Palmer here. Excited to wrap up the month of May, start looking ahead to the rest of 2022. This will include the summer of 2022, summer of something. Hopefully love. Unfortunately, we started on a sour note or two, first with the shootings in Buffalo, and then the shootings more recently in Uvalde, Texas, where we're faced with the reality that school is not a place where you can hide. And in some places, school being a public space and being in some ways a soft target. There's a lot of talk now about how to harden our schools. And I think that's tied also to just a hardening of, of our hearts that we're feeling. Hopefully we can look past that, see that that's just a frame for this current day and age. And in some ways, the courage is to reframe and think about what we hope is some positivity on the horizon. But there are storm clouds up ahead, and they may even be above us. We're just hoping we get through this without too much more pain and hopefully enter into a phase where things are a little calmer and more pleasant. Sadly, that train may have left the station, but we'll keep on plowing forward. I got to admit that it was hard to get this episode together, and it was hard for me to think about what happened in Texas now that I am the father of a, a young son. And, you know, his experiences... My wife and I have talked about how profound the Universal 3K program here has been in our lives in terms of establishing some kind of connection to the community and feel like there was a real positive value exchange between us and our family and our son and what the community and the public education system was providing us as a parent of a young three-year-old to then hear about what happened, which is really a, a violation of that trust and a disruption of the frame of reference, the mental model, the belief in a just world that we all kind of need at our moral core. So I, I really did feel shook. I reflected a lot on why I do this show, why we have to continue to push to have conversations in new ways and to explore different topics so that we're continuing to expand understanding and, and think more broadly and make connections where maybe we wouldn't have had them otherwise. Something's got to change. We've said this before, but there is the tremendous urgency of now. You know, what is happening right now? You look a little bit at what Beto O'Rourke did in Texas to stand up to power, you know, really the truth to power, the idea of even the kind of resistance he saw in Tiananmen Square was wildly outrageous to connect that to what Beto O'Rourke did. But nonetheless, these are all the themes that are up there these days. The dollar values have been doubled or more these days. Things are a little more fraught. As an anodyne, as a soother of the nerves, a soother of the collective mindset, I wanted to share a little bit of my son Matthew recently permitting me to record him. Let's hear a little bit of him. Hopefully this is the type of stuff that can raise some spirits out there. Uh -huh. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder where you are at the bottom of the sky. All the feathers in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder where you are. Yay. And there you have it. The word is in. From the rising generation, I've heard Matthew's generation referred to as Generation Alpha. I think we need to break the cycle and understand this naming in a new way. But being raised in this time period is just different. 
And I still remember growing up as Generation X, there was the overarching threat of the Cold War and nuclear annihilation. Now I think that's shifted to climate annihilation and climate disaster. There's a recent report that I saw from the UN talking about the prognosis for the globe in the next 10 years and also forecasting further out based on the projections 10 years from now. It's another dire forecast. At best, we're probably deteriorating gradually towards the complete unraveling of society. At least that's what's being forecast now. I'm old enough to realize that these things are a little bit like the weather, a little bit like fall fashion or even summer fashion, which is another theme to come back to. I think there is a deeper hunger to get past all this that will ultimately be satisfied. We'll see how it goes. This will all be shared on the show page for Trending in Education for this episode. Check us out at trendinginedge.com. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed to Trending in Education. We have some really great shows on the horizon in June. We'll be coming back full force. Frankly, I just needed a little time to recharge and get myself in the right mind space. We're going to keep this episode super short, but it is the debut of my son's musical career. He's only three. Keep your ears peeled for more from the song stylings of one Matthew Palmer and crew. Thanks everyone who's been listening to Trending in Ed. We'll be back on Thursday with a regular episode, but just wanted to keep the feed lively. We're here. We're still cranking it out. Trending in Ed. Also check out Running It Back. New episodes on the horizon there. Thanks as always for listening. Here's a little more Matthew Palmer before signing off. This is Trending in Ed. Itsy bitsy spider, come out the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried it all away. And the itsy bitsy spider come out the sound again. Yay!